Yeah, what we have here is standard package rooftop cooling unit. Um, as controlled by a stat located downstairs in the, uh, the uh, yeah the main area, the locker area. Um, and based on set point downstairs, it tells the unit whether to run in cooling or heating. Uh, main power comes up to your uh, primary uh, disconnect or breaker device here. And given conditions, it either uh, tells the system to uh, run the fan, of course, and either pull down the contactor to run the compressor or engage the heating system run off of your uh, uh, ignition module located up here in the top left corner. Uh, uh, it also consists of free cooling located back here uh, on the economizer. Uh, there's another module uh, back here, given the temperature and humidity outside, it will activate some dampers in the rear, allowing them to open and pull in cool air from the outside to enable cost savings during mild weather. The other thing the unit has is also a humidity sensor down below. So on those kind of days like today where it's not necessarily hot, but it's humid, it'll actually try to keep it fairly dry down so there's no Yeah, yeah. Um, they're the pretty, it's pretty straightforward package ex unit. Exactly. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much on to troubleshooting from here, unless anyone has any questions. Uh, yeah, as far as troubleshooting, we'll keep it very basic. Um, in the event of power loss, you're, you're getting nothing downstairs. Uh, first and foremost, check your breaker. Secondly, check your disconnect switch in this breaker here. Um, outside of that, a uh, person can move on and check the transformer, verify 24 volt output, um, and you can also check supply power at your contactor up here located at the T1, 2, and 3 terminals. Uh, I'm trying to see where the stats landed. I also, yeah, go ahead. So see your stat is landed actually, well your humidity sensor is landed. It's actually, I believe this is a communication stat, so it actually takes all the set point back up to its main point. So it's not just a standard, normal off-the-shelf thermostat that you go to the lowest spot. It's actually a specific thermostat for this unit. Filters. Filters, um, standard up the front. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they are located in the rear compartment here. Yep. There's a nice pull out. Okay. Slides in there and it runs off of your standard 16 by 25 by 2 air filters. Alright. These are cleated. These are cleated. These are cleated. And it's not a requirement for the equipment, but. Yes, absolutely. direct drive system, meaning there is no belt to service or maintenance on this system. Um, definitely cuts back on the upkeep and maintenance side of things. Your gas burner section is located down below where we have the electronically controlled gas valve, which, like I referred to earlier, runs directly off this ignition module. Uh, typically, if you have any problems with this system, it's going to be an issue with your flame sensor, uh, your uh, yeah, your flow switch or the board itself. In my experience, it is typically one of those three items uh, or an igniter. Uh, really, I think that's about it for that section. I don't think we'll go into the theory of uh, modern refrigeration or anything, but I think we know what the compressor takes on. We'll have if you don't have a compressor and it's hot outside, it shouldn't be economizing. You should have the compressor fed that on it. Pretty much set it up. Anything I missed? Any other questions? Or comments? Uh, this unit also had, uh, I just noticed this one is equipped with a phase loss monitor. 
this light here will turn red in the event that you've lost any one of your legs, you have a breaker trip below, so you have a bad set of winding on the press red and it trips one of the legs, this light will illuminate, turning it red, telling you, hey, we are seeing after the repair, it will also illuminate that light, allowing, <coughs> alerting you that your phasing is wrong, that you need to switch into two lights in the system to get it back into a proper phasing. Uh, the main reason for that is your compressor, you definitely don't want to run backwards. Yes. Uh, running a compressor backwards for any length of time will damage it. Yes. So it'll help pull on the light in the system. Like we do have standard uh, thermostat oh, the wiring coming up into the RTRM board. This is the refrigeration module right here, which handles all the cooling uh, combined with the economizer module. And you will find 24 volt power here in your R, uh, like you would on any other system. And during a cooling call, you should see 24 volts from your supply one. Uh, yeah, I think that covers it all as far as. does it unless anybody has any questions. All right, so uh, this is our makeup air unit. Uh, this is strictly for fresh air ventilation, uh, specifically for the wash bay on this facility. Um, all it does is bring in fresh air from the outside, make up air, dumps it to the inside, and that's pretty much it. We have a fan assembly here, and this is a belt-driven unit. This can be adjusted off of the slide track, and a sheave on the system. That's an adjustable pulley. Uh, main power supply comes up and into the units. And uh, back here. And again, the, uh, any issues of off power start with break. And again, this is strictly for fresh air intake. There's no cooling to speak of. All we have is a two-stage burner system here strictly for tempering cold winter air coming in. That way we aren't dumping in a bunch of sub-zero. Especially into a wash bay. Yes. Um, like I said, this is a two-stage system, so you have two gas valves that will operate at any given time, uh, being stage one and stage two. And due to that, there are two control modules on the system versus the one. So it's a one stage heating system on the package rooftop unit we previously looked at. We do have a thermostat here too. This will be basically what controls, if, if the, if basically if the unit's calling for bringing in outside air down below, this is more what determines um, which how many burners comes on at a time. So if this, this sits in, actually there's a probe that sits down into your discharge of the unit. And if it's hot enough, then it'll just leave it as is. Um, I believe it's set to 80 right now, I believe. That's probably right. So basically, as long as one valve is keeping up with the 80 degrees, then it won't, it'll just keep with the one stage. If it doesn't, then it'll kick on the other stage just to keep up and air down. It is adjustable, there's a little dial on it, a little indicator. Um, it should be pretty well set up and ready to go. Yeah. Both units we've looked at so far are fully automated systems. There, there's really nothing, anyone that um, maintenance of this facility should ever have to, to do as far as controls. If you're having a trouble getting a call up here, uh, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk get further about the into that later on. Soon. But because there's a couple different aspects that actually controls this unit. Yes. I, that, that, that is really pretty much it for this unit. This is used uh, specifically for essentially humidity control in that hot wash bay and uh, for fresh air coming in when uh, our gas monitoring system senses too much. Uh, Perfect.
tubes in the, in the air. This is our exhaust system for the same wash bay. Uh, these two units uh, make up air that we previously looked at in this one uh, pretty much operate hand in hand. If we go shoving in a lot of outside air, we need to get that air out of there. Otherwise, the space is going to be very positive. We're going to be blowing doors open. And that, that's, that's no good for anybody. Um, this unit is very straightforward. Send power up from the breaker. Uh, we do have a uh, variable frequency drive located in this unit. It has already been set up. It, it turns on and off when it's called for. Uh, there should be no adjustment needed whatsoever on that. Um, this is another belt-driven system, so again, you have to adjust the plate and adjust the sheet uh, to, to get your smoker uh, amperage draw dialed in where it needs to be. serviceable uh, grease serves on the, on the system that need to be serviced as well, greased, uh, at least biannually, I'd suggest, but, uh, or whatever man, uh, manufacturer's recommendation would be. Yeah, that's pretty much it.